Let's take a look at adding a flip parameter and a flip action to a block. I have a block of an arrow that I would like to flip depending on which way the door opens. I could mirror the arrow and reposition it, but that's time consuming. I'll use a parameter and action instead. I'll select the arrow block, right click, and select Block Editor. From the Parameters tab, I'll select Flip. I need to specify a base point of reflection line. This will be the axis for the arrow flip. Because I want the arrow to flip around the center, I'll use an endpoint object snap and select a base point, endpoint, and click to place the parameter label. Next, I'll add an action. From the Actions tab, I'll select Flip and select the flip parameter. I'll select the geometry I want to include in the flip and press Enter. Finally, I'll close the block editor and save the changes I made. Notice the arrow grip when I select the block? I turned this block into a dynamic block. When I click on the grip, the arrow block flips.